Hey guys, welcome back. So today I just want to make a quick video and show you how to enter the DSU mode without needing the buttons. For example, as you can see here, I have an iPod Touch second generation. It's an ambi model, 16 gigabytes. And um, as you can see, the home button is broken. So when I tap on it, nothing will happen. For example, if I open up the settings app, I cannot get out of here um, I need to really really hard press and if I press very long nothing will happen power button is good though so yeah so today I will show you how to enter this human without needing to or just uh, enter the human without need of any buttons so what you need to do is go new computer and download red snow so I'm gonna jump in Safari and show you the website where you get red snow from you apparently should know where I get this from because I've used it many many times so basically it will work in any version so here red snow 0.9.15 beta 3 Mac on or Windows, I'm gonna put the link down in the description. And once you've downloaded that, I've already done this. Um, you're gonna open it up. So if I can find it, so. and when you are on Mac, you need to press Control and open. So then it will show here. And you click on extras and on even more and then click on dfu ipsw so it says create ipsw for entering dfu mode so you're going to click on that and it says dfu mode ipsw workaround the feature creates an ipsw that will cause the device to enter dfu mode at the end of an otherwise normal itunes restore it's intended for those with broken buttons who can't enter the FU mode in the normal fashion. Use the following file browser to select an IPSW you can currently restore to without any hex or pawn steps. So click OK. Now it says um, where to get it from. So now I've chosen iOS 4.2.1 for this guy right here. So I'm gonna take my cable and plug it in. So I gotta look where it is because I misplaced it. So wait a second. So it's still creating the custom version of iOS. So doing this I can plug in my iPod. And now IPSW created and it says where and then you click OK. So right now I'm gonna plug in the iPod so I'm gonna Yeah I gotta put protection on it. So now it's plugged in and don't care about syncing. So now um, that we have this done we jump into iTunes cancel jump in iTunes click on the device and now on Mac click option and shift on Windows and restore iPod so then you locate the IPSW and now it will restore the iPod to the Okay, so now I'm running IS 2.2.1 on it, so now it's entering um, the, the, now it's uh, restoring the iPod to um, IS 4.2.1 and as you can see I'm running 2.2.1 in the moment, so now it's just waiting for the iPod and yeah, so just waiting a second until it's finished, so see you when it's done.
So now that the restore finished itself, the iPod, Boston's iPod Touch could not be restored, an unknown error occurred. So as you can see, um, the device now has a black screen and iTunes says it has de the detected an iPod in recovery mode. So if we open up Retino again, and um, you can see that it says DFU mode, iPod Touch 2G DFU mode and old boot room basically because it's an MB model and uh, so it's the old boot room. So now I can jailbreak or all that stuff. For example, I click on jailbreak and normally it should jailbreak my iPod right now. And so that's the way for how to enter in the DFU mode for an iDevice with broken buttons. So this will work or this should work on any iDevice um, for iPod, iPhone and iPad. And hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. A lot of awesome stuff coming soon and um, leave a comment make sure to follow my social network and peace out